Hello and welcome to another video. Man United's woeful season lurched from one damaging loss to another as Galatasaray took advantage of some pathetic, pathetic defending of Manchester United to record a comeback Champions League win at Old Trafford. I'm going to review and analyze this game, so let's get into it. If we talk about United's lineup, Eric Ten Hag decided to go with a 4 2 3 1 formation. Yet again, he decided to play Andre Onana in goal in defense in the absence of Lisandro Martinez, Luke Shaw, Malasia, and Aaron Van Bissaga. He decided to go with a center back partnership of Victor Lindelof and Rafael Varan. But I think he should have gone with Harry Maguire instead of Lindelof. And he goes with Diogo Dallo at right back position and Amrabat at left back position. In midfield, he chooses Casemiro and Mount as a deep midfielders and at the number 10 position, he goes with Hannibal Majabri who is an academy product. In attack, he went with Marcus Rashford at left wing and Bruno Fernandes at right wing. And up top, he plays Rasmus Hoyland instead of Anthony Martial. I know Eric Ten Hag was in very tough situation because of the injuries his squad had. But he could also go with a back 3 formation of Varane, Maguire and Lindelof. But anyways, moving on to the Galatasaray's lineup. Galatasaray also decided to go with a 4-2-3-1 formation. In goal, their captain Muslera was played. In defence, Abdul Karim and David Sanchez were the centre-backs and Boy as the right-back and Angelino was the left-back. In midfield, Khan, Ayhan and Torreira were the deep midfielders. And shockingly, at number 10 position, Dries Martins was benched and Akhtur Koglu was played in his position. In attack, Wilfred Zaha was the left winger and Tete was the right winger. And up top, at the striker position, their main man, Ekardi, was playing. Now let's jump on to the game analysis. In a start, Man United were looking really, really solid. The first big chance for Man United came in the first minute of the game when Rasmus Hoyland receives the ball on a halfway line and he beautifully drives the ball on the wing and dribble past Galatasaray's right back boy and puts an amazing cross in the box for Bruno Fernandes. But Bruno couldn't hit his shot on target. United were looking really, really solid both offensively and defensively in the first 10 minutes. The second big chance came for United when Casemiro cleverly chips the ball over Galatasaray's defence for Hannibal. But Hannibal, because of his poor first touch, couldn't convert his chance into a goal and this chance was also wasted. But after 4 or 5 minutes, the breakthrough goal for Manchester United came when Casemiro incredibly picks Rashford with a beautiful lofted through ball and Rashford didn't hesitate for a second to cross the ball to Hoyland. And Hoyland amazingly headed the ball into the back of the net. And I am telling you guys that this header of Hoyland was not easy as it looks because of the power that Rashford has put in that cross. But after 5 minutes, the first equalizer of Galatasaray came when David Sanchez sends the long ball to Wilfred Zaha and he totally bodied Diogo Dalo and took a shot at goal and the ball bounces over Andre Onana to go into the back of the net. And the former Manchester United player Wilfred Zaha provided an equalizer for Galatasaray. Another chance came for United when Rasmus Hoyland wins the long ball and he totally bodied Abdul Karim and he holds the ball brilliantly and dribbled between three players and loft it for Rashford, who gave through pass to Amrabat, who crosses the ball in the box for Mason Mount. But Mount's shot was brilliantly blocked by Abdul Karim and score remains 1-1. Another big chance for United came when Rashford drives the ball and gives a cut back and Mason Mount receives it. And he took a shot and but his shot was blocked by his own player Hannibal Majabri. After that, the first half ended. In the second half, Christian Eriksen brilliantly picks Marcus Rashford's run and he was in 1v1 situation with goalkeeper. But I don't know what was going on in Rashford's mind and he weirdly decided to pass to Bruno who was way behind. And power in his pass was too, too low and Boy clears away the ball and because of his mistake, the score somehow still remains 1-1. Another big moment for United came when Casemiro smartly gave a cheeky pass to Mason Mount who also gave a brilliant pass to Hoyland and he converts that chance into a goal beautifully but it was ruled off for being an offside position. 
but the second goal for man united came in the 66th minute when sanchez slipped and hoyland collects the ball and he drives brilliantly and abdul karim couldn't cope up with his pace and he beautifully finishes by chipping the ball over the leg of the keeper by his sensational goal united takes the lead by two goal to one at old trafford the another big chance came for galatasaray when Yilmaz crosses the ball into the box and Onana couldn't catch it and ball drops into Zaha's feet and he passes it to Al Turkoglu but he couldn't hit the ball on target and the score remains 2-1. But at the 70th minute, Yilmaz drove the ball brilliantly and he exposed United defence and gave a smart load driven cross to Al Turkoglu and he shoots the ball into the back of the net of course. Galatasaray equaled the score again. After that, United started to crumble and almost every player dropped his shoulder, even the manager Eric Ten Hag. At the 75th minute of the game, the most horrible moment of the game for a United fan happened when Mr. Onana bluntly passes the ball to Mertens. I mean, what was he trying to do? Brother Onana, I know that you are a great ball playing keeper. But you shouldn't be that stubborn to clear the ball, simply hit the long ball. If you think there isn't an option to pass, don't try to become over smart. After that, Casemiro had to foul him and he was red carded. And a penalty was given to Galatasaray. But Mauro Icardi wasn't able to convert that penalty into a goal and he hit it wide. The score somehow remained 2-2 till that moment. And another disaster of a moment happened when David Sanchez headed the ball and there was literally no midfielder. I know Casemiro plays there but there should be any player just to just to intercept the ball. But believe me, there was no one and with a simple header, the whole United defence got exposed and Icardi collects the ball and he did an amazing finish and Galatasaray completes their comeback. And after that, United couldn't fight back and they faced a terrible loss at their own home ground, Old Trafford. If we take a look at the statistics, United took 16 shots of which only 5 were on targets and Galatasaray took almost the same amount of shots, they took 15 shots in which 4 were on target. And Manchester United managed to have only 55% possession against some Turkish kebab sellers. Shambolic stuff. The best United player in my opinion was Rasmus Holland, And no other United player even comes close. And the best player for Galatasaray was Abdul Karim in my opinion. If we take a look at the current Group A standings, we can see that United are last in their group. Even Copenhagen managed to get more points than United. Now United should must win their upcoming games in UCL if they want to remain in this competition. So guys, what do you think what will happen with Manchester United this season? Will they be able to qualify for round of 16 or even further? I really don't know. Write in the comment section. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Bye bye.